Okay, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Thank you, Father. Praise your heavenly Father. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Paul Bagley School of Prophecy Communion with God course, lesson number 12. Lesson number what? Lesson number 12, the last one. Hallelujah. Praise God, everybody. You made it. You made it. You made it. You made it through this first course. And so we give God the praise and we thank God for you. We give you a shout out tonight that you made it through this wonderful course. And I pray that this, this course, I pray that this course has been a blessing to you and that it will change the rest of your life. We thank God. I thank God for Pastor Paul. He landed today in Chicago and he should be home by now. Mark Wolverton is home with uh, at his home. So we thank God for the mighty mission to India. And we pray that God will restore them, give them rest, bless their families, and that God will bless each and every one of you and the school of prophecy. Praise God. We're going to review just a brief review tonight and um, let, you out of, let you out of school a little early tonight. Praise God. Let you out of school a little early and then call this course, uh, bring this course to closure. So we, we want to thank God for you. Let's begin with prayer. Father God, we come before you tonight in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. You are wonderful, Lord. There is none other like you. Father, I want to thank you for this course, Communion with God. I want to thank you for the Paul Bagley School of Prophecy. I want to thank you for Paul and Heidi for the vision you've given them for a school. And I want to thank you for each of our students. I thank you for their diligence, their perseverance, their determination. I thank you, Father, and I thank you for their steadfastness. I want to thank you for what you have taught us during this semester. And I pray that you will continue to guide us and keep us. We give you the praise. Lord, bless this great nation of ours and the nations. Help us to be world changers. Bless the whole body of Christ. And Father, we thank you in Jesus' mighty name. Praise God. Amen. Amen. Praise God. I want to welcome Roy Rosser. And uh, is there anyone who wants to um, share a testimony or, or uh Bring, bring to our attention anything that we need to know or you'd like to share with us. We'd like you to unmute your phone at this time and please do so. Hearing none, I, I imagine everybody's eager to get this class over with. Praise God, since I said I'm gonna let you out of, out of class early. Um, we'll try our best to do this, okay? This course, Communion with God, um, has helped a lot of us, every one of us, I believe, to hear the Lord's voice. Um, we've learned a lot. We've learned two basic, two basic uh, ways of approaching God that are taught in this course. We, were, we learned Habakkuk's method from the book of Habakkuk, and um, we've also committed Habakkuk to memory. Um, and uh, Habakkuk said, I will stand on my, watch, my guard post, and I will sit in the rampart, and I will watch to see what he will say to me when I am reproved. And the Lord answered him and said, write the vision, um, for it will, it will come, even though it will tarry, it will come. Write the vision so that they who read it will run with it. And so we learn from Habakkuk that you and I, every believer, we can go to God and we can ask him questions and he will talk to us and we learn how to journal. I pray that you'll continue to practice journaling. Journaling is very important and you can, you can journal. You can go to God with any question you have and, and seek his face and, and ask him to speak to you. We learn that God speaks to us through his voice, through his written word, through a rhema word, through vision, 
um, um, through dreams and their ways in which he speaks to us and we've learned how to um, seek these ways and apply them to our lives so I believe we're much better believers as a result of this course uh, in your final paper which will be a two to three page paper there's only one assignment left for you after tonight and that is to write a two to three page paper on how this course impacted you how did it affect you what did it do for you what uh, are the good things you've learned how can we strengthen this course how can it be better presented um, how can it be better a better course for our students so give us a summary of what this course has done to you and how it has impacted your life and um, give us some suggestions on how to improve it and an overall general review of the course and if you have any testimony share that in your report and um, I'm going to make sure that Pastor Paul sees these reports and then we can tweak the school and uh, get ready for future classes so we thank God um, we've learned uh, certain scriptures Habakkuk 2 1 to 2 we've learned Proverbs 11 14 John 17 3 Isaiah 55 10 and 11 John 7 37 B to 39 a Psalm 46 10 John 8 38 a first Chronicles 29 18 John 5 19 and 30 a Hebrews 10 22 and 2nd Corinthians 10 5 I will not ask you to re recite them tonight from memory. I know many of you, like when I took the course, you learned them uh, for the time of the course, and uh, they're in there somewhere, but I don't think many of us would be able to bring them out tonight if we had to. Um, so we thank God. Cats asked, uh, Cats, uh, I've got, let me go to the chat window to see what you're saying. Can we use visions and dreams we've gotten during this class? Can we use visions and dreams we've gotten during this class? Oh, yes, yes, cats, in your report. Please, if you feel led to do so, you do so. Okay, praise God. I also want to commend cats on helping us to uh, become intercessors, uh, to uh, join with her in praying for other people. She prays continuously for the school and for the Paul Begley ministry and for many people and I pray that you all will join with her stay in touch with cats and be a prayer warrior and intercessor okay so we looked at Habakkuk's approach to hearing God's voice then we looked at the tabernacle model where we um, visit the, the Old Testament tabernacle which became the Old Testament temple and we look at the, the uh, pieces of furniture and what they represent. We enter into the gate with thanksgiving in our heart. We stop at the altar, which represents Jesus on the cross and salvation and eternal life at the foot of the cross. Even as we pray, we can ask the Lord to forgive us, wash us in the blood. And then we uh, go to the table of showbread which represents the bread of life, the word of God. Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. We go uh, to the uh, laver, uh, or we go to the lampstand. And at the lampstand, we commit our minds unto the Lord. The scripture says, let this mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus. And then we ask the Holy Spirit to illumine our minds praise God then we move on uh, in 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 the uh, in our approach to God our objective is to get into God's presence in the Holy of Holies and then we stop at the um, the um, labor where we ask God to wash us in the pure water of his word praise God well we we stopped at the labor after the altar then the uh, table of showbread then the uh, the, the lamp stands then we go to the altar of incense where we ask the Lord to receive our prayers our praise and our worship as a sweet smelling fragrance in his nostrils 
and then we enter by faith, by faith, uh, ladies and gentlemen, into the Holy of Holies. What's in the Holy, Holy of Holies? That's where God resides. In the Old Testament tabernacle and temple, he resided at the Ark of the Covenant. He would, have, he would uh, come upon the tabernacle and enter into the Ark of the Covenant and speak over the mercy seat. And it's in that holy place, the Holy of Holies, which is a replica of heaven, we can approach the Lord um, that way. So that's the, that's the tabernacle model. So we've learned in this course two models of approaching God. I pray that you'll adopt a model. Use both of them. Um, there'll be times you'll want to stand on your guard post, on your watchtower, and wait upon the Lord. God may not answer you right away, so learn how to wait on the Lord. You're his child. I'm his child. We can wait on him. He wants to speak to us. You can't rush God. I think a lot of us have learned through this course, you can't rush God. You cannot hurry God. We've learned how to quiet ourselves. We've learned the four keys, the four keys, stillness, vision, spontaneity, and journaling. It's been an amazing course, a very, very precious course. We learn a lot about um, the difference between the church and the new age encounter. There are a lot of churches, ladies and gentlemen, out there dealing in the occult and witchcraft. Uh, a lot of the new agers, they, they look like the church. They act like the church. But we've got to discern, ladies and gentlemen, in order to be in the real church, you must be born again. We've got to be alert. God's people need to be alert. That is why we encourage you to be filled with the Holy Ghost. Be baptized in the Holy Spirit. Pray. Uh, develop your prayer language. Pray in tongues. Ask the Lord for the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Praise God. Uh, after this course, I, I, I'm inviting you to join me on Sunday mornings for the next several, several, several weeks. For a few months, we're going to be teaching on the gifts of the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ghost baptism, how to operate in the gifts of the Holy Spirit. There will be some powerful teachings on Sunday mornings on, our, uh, on, on our, our Back to Basics online church. Praise God. If you miss those, you can pick them up at the YouTube channel. Uh, Leroy Carter on the YouTube channel. Praise God. This is to bless and edify the body of Christ. We've learned the importance of having spiritual counselors, that you should have uh, two or three spiritual counselors, people you depend on, people who know the Lord, people who know how to hear his voice. And so we encourage you to have spiritual counselors. If your spiritual counselors are not operating on your behalf, then get some new spiritual advisors, spiritual, spiritual counselors, people who you know love the Lord and, and, and know his voice and who can, who can check you uh, as you get ready eventually to take the course in, in prophecy. Um, you need to have a spiritual counselor and advisor to check the prophetic word that you receive to make sure uh, a prophet needs to often um, test a word of prophecy with another prophet. So what you're learning in this course is, is paving the way for some even greater things. We learned um, about the theological backdrop for experiencing spiritual intimacy, the mind and the spirit. We learned about the left brain person and the right brain person and how the mind and the spirit work together. We thank God. We, we learn um, that God is calling us to go beyond rational Christianity. God wants to use us to the praise of his glory. We learn a lot about how God uses the left brain and the right brain. And when we put it all together, uh, God can speak to us through dreams and visions. God can give us uh, visions. And so we, we learn how to um, write letters to the Lord and ask him questions. And I pray that uh, you will re, 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 revisit th this course, with, revisit your learn workbook, your manual, 
your textbooks, uh, revisit the four keys to hearing God's voice, and be able to teach others so that they can learn. Many people in the church do not know what you are learning. Many people just go, they go to church, and they're not putting any real effort into getting closer to God, but you're getting closer to God, and God has a plan for you. He said in in his word in Jeremiah, I know the plans I have for you. So we want you to, we pray that you'll always be spiritually alert, spiritually alert, and ready to go where God sends you and do what he tells you to do. We learned the difference between Western study and Eastern study. And our curriculum is focused more on Eastern study, the LAMAD, L-A-M-A-D, curriculum where we uh we we approach we approach god with the, with the eastern mindset we looked at biblical meditation and uh we looked at the things that the left brain does and the things that the right brain does so it's been an interesting course we learned about praying with an idol in our heart from ezekiel 14 4 the thing that you hold most in your mind or your heart when you're praying that's the thing that's going to give you the answer. And so we, 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 we are uh, urged by the scripture to seek the Lord while he may be found. Keep Christ foremost. Keep God foremost in our heart and mind and pray to God. Do not pray to an idol uh, and how to clear our heart, how to repent, how to purify our heart even before we pray. Confess any root of bitterness, any sin, any sin, any anger. Uh, let no root of bitterness be in us. So we've learned a whole lot. We learn how to look for vision, how to look for vision. Uh, even as you pray, look for vision. Look for God to show up, to give you vision on the screen of your mind. We learn how to do this. And, and um, I hope you will continue to practice with, with these things. Um, using the eyes of our hearts very very important so we've we've come a long way we looked at are uh, the projectors that project on the screens of our mind we know that uh, um, God projects certain things in our minds and we we see them we hear them but Satan also puts thoughts in our minds and you put your own thoughts in your mind so we need to discern the thoughts and the images that that we have and that we receive. So this is basically uh, a, a brief review of the course. We've looked at some beautiful scripture. Um, we've accomplished the objectives of the course, stating the four keys to hearing God's voice, um, five important safeguards to hearing God's voice. I hope you've kept notes. I have my stack of three by five cards. Cats, here they are, three by five cards with my scriptures and the notes that I took while taking this course. These were my study notes in addition to my textbooks and my workbooks. And so I, as a teacher, I have to review this course to teach it over and over again. But you review your notes to refresh your mind. Don't let what you've learned um, just, just disappear. Many, there are many other things that we've learned in this course. Um, journaling was new to uh, most of you, and I uh, pray that you will keep a journal. Uh, keep, a, keep a notebook by your bedside and, and keep a notebook uh, on your job so that when you hear from God, you write these things down. Do not depend on your mind to remember these things. Don't depend on waking up and remembering them. Write them down. Wake up and write them down and then get clarification later on. Go back to sleep and get clarification later on. Okay. We learned about true prophecy and false prophecy and um, how to recognize true prophecy. So we've had a great course. It's been a good one. Um, and I thank God for you. Thank God for your, your, your diligence. And as we bring this course to a close, I pray that you have set your, your heart on continuing in the school. Next semester, 
we're, we're changing the registration date. We're going to give you an additional week. And so we'd like to ask you to register for the next course between now and the end of the month of May. Preferably, we'd like to have you sign up for your next course next week. That by the end of next week, you are registered. We have an idea of how many textbooks to order. Um, I'm recommending that you register for the course Understanding the Bible. Uh, that's the course that I've written, the textbook I've written. Uh, our students graduated from this course last night, and they had a wonderful time. The, the, um, the um, summaries are, are amazing, and they are really, really excited. If you don't register for um, Introduction to the I'm sorry, Introduction to the Bible, Understanding the Bible, then uh, we're recommending the course Gifted to Succeed. Gifted to Succeed, which is a, a, a wonderful course, not a whole lot of work for the summertime. And so if you want a summer that's where you're not really booking it so hard and so heavy, uh, sign up for uh, Understanding the Bible for September. Um, take the course gifted to succeed, or um, experiencing God in the small group for the summertime. Gifted to succeed or experiencing God in the small group. Or if you want to want to continue uh, with the flow in which uh, we're, we're in now, understanding the Bible. By the end of that course, by the end of August, August 31st, first, you'll have a good command of the Bible, whichever way you want. Um, I will send you out an email again tomorrow that again shows the lineup of courses that we're scheduled. We're scheduling for the second semester with the modified dates. We're changing the semester dates from June 3rd to June 10. So the semester will run from June 10 to roughly the first week of September. Um, now that you have communion with God under your belt, after you send in your two to th three page summary, then uh, the next uh, in sequence is understanding the Bible and then introduction to the prophetic. But if you choose to sign up for Gifted to Succeed, it's a great course. It's a great course. Um, it will not take up, up as much as your of your time during the summer, but it's a, cre it's a four credit course. Or take Experiencing God in the small group, which is another course uh, that offers four credits, it will be good. We're looking at by the end of December, most of you will be on your way to your associate's degree. On your way that by the end of the spring semester next year, you'll have you should have your associate's degree. So the the courses that we're looking at right now is the sequence would be communion with God understanding the Bible, introduction to the prophetic, and then uh, Pastor Paul's course should be ready. Uh, I have to talk to him. He's just getting back from India. We won't bother him for a few days. Uh, his course, if it's not ready by October, we offer it next January. And so Gifted to Succeed, Cats, is a good course, excellent course. That's the course in which you will evaluate your spiritual gifts and and uh, take a look at your strengths and, and see which way the Lord is, is calling you. Uh, if you're sensing God is calling you into a certain area, some of you already know. But this course is excellent in helping you to find out where you are and what your strengths are. There are a lot of batteries of, of several batteries of, of tests that we take. No exams, no, no exams, uh, but a, a, a battery of, of tests in your homework that uh, help assess uh, your gifts and your strengths. So we encourage you to enroll. We welcome you, Megan. God bless you. We, we encourage you to enroll in the summer semester from June 10. We, we started on June 10. Enroll next week if you can. Enroll as soon as you can. If your uh, issue is financial, you can call Heidi at Heidi Bagley, 765-414-2230. Um, she'll work out a plan with you. If I can help you in any way, ladies and gentlemen, 
um, you have you have my phone number and my email and um, I'm available I'm available Jackie and I are available to help you so stay in touch with us I will be sending out a series of emails starting tomorrow uh, giving an overview of next semester um, also encouraging you and then in a short while I'll send out your final grade your final report for this course and I hope to see you in the next course I'll be teaching uh, I'll be teaching understanding the Bible introduction to the prophetic gifted to succeed and experiencing God in the small group for next semester Mark Wolverton will be teaching communion with God and so if you have friends who want to join the Paul Bagley School of Prophecy we like to start them off with communion with God and they will be uh, under the uh, um, the um, anointed teaching of Mark Wolverton who accompanied Pastor Paul to India so that's about it uh, that's about it we we want you to stick with the Paul Bagley School of Prophecy after uh, those of you who will be seeking a um, a an associate's degree your associate's degree will consist of 20 credits after you earn your associate's degree we will help you to design a curriculum for your bachelor's degree in your area of concentration and those of you who want to go on to the master's and the doctoral degree we will help you to design your curriculum and we'll give you credit for previous courses that have been taken and help design lay out a plan for you that um, if you can visualize once you earn your associate's degree a year later you ought to have the bachelor's a year later the master's a year later the doctorate so it won't take a whole lot of time it's just being consistent and sticking with it praise God so once again if um, you run into financial difficulties call Heidi Begley and, and, and let Heidi work out a plan for you and with you and once again I re repeat um, Jackie and I were here we're available to help you and thank you so much for um, the communication and for uh, being excellent students we thank God we thank God for each and every one of you you are a great class and so uh, I say to each and every one of you uh, that's it for the course that's it for the course it's been a great course and uh, soon you'll be uh, receiving your notification of your four credits and your final grade for the course and we want to encourage you to continue on pray that you open your heart and ask God to open windows and doors for you uh, God needs teachers he wants people to teach you're receiving things that a lot of people in the body of Christ have not been taught and we can be earth movers and world changers in these end times and so we thank God and we bless God for the course praise God and now I want to uh, ask you if you will just to uh, anyone who wants any say any final comments concerning the course or greet your classmates or any testimony anything you would like to share one by one unmute your phone and um, we'll receive you Patricia asks, what is the deadline for chapter seven homework, chapter 11 homework? When is the summary due? Well, as we've been going along, uh, like every time we, we, we've met online, the deadline for the next uh, lesson would be the following week. So um, lesson chapter 11 should actually be in my hands by now. Uh, if you're not complete and if you've only if you have several chapters to complete I'd like to have the deadline for these the deadline for completing all of your assignments is May 31st May 31st I would not like to see you entering into another course with homework still lagging from the previous course so um, deadline for all the work 
May 31st. Uh, that's about two weeks from now. Um, if you need more time, connect with me, contact with me. The summary, I should have the summary by next week. By next uh, Thursday night, uh, next Thursday sometime, I should have your summary. But if you need more time, um, I'd like to I'd like to see you close out everything by May 31st so that you're you're freed up you're freed up and then you're just waiting to for that first uh, class in your new course in June okay you're welcome Patricia any other questions uh, <clears throat> hey Dr Carter how you doing Hi, how you doing God bless you. God bless you too. Thank you. I don't really have any questions, but uh, I just wanted to thank you now that we're at the end uh, for uh, the time you spent teaching us. Um, you know, I was, it, it helped me organize some of the things that uh, that I had already, you know, I, some of the encounters I may have had with the Lord in the past to try and decide whether or not I I had an encounter with the Lord, or you know, just try to organize things in my mind. But now now I have a way to, to organize it better. So. You know, I'm, I am thankful for that. Praise God, and and we're thankful for you, Roy, and uh, being for being a blessing to all of us, and um, we we're thankful that this course has helped you. And uh, let's stay in touch as you continue on. Um, we're open, and and stay in touch with me, okay? Okay. Thank you much. God bless you. All right. Anyone else? I have something, um, Dr. Carter. Patricia, God um, bless this, you. This, yes, thank you so much. I had I to say that I, this class actually, it, you know, it, it taught me the importance of of journaling, and that that's the main thing I think that um, I had to come to terms with why I, I was not doing that before. So. Um, it has been a blessing for me. I'm, you know, I'm practicing what, what I learned and I, I, I am going to continue doing that and I'm going to um, be teaching others, to, you know, the fundamentals of it anyways. <laughs> Praise God. Wonderful. And yeah, because I have a small group and, you know, we, they they both want to learn, so we're gonna we're gonna do that together. Praise God! Wonderful, wonderful. While you're uh, uh, thinking that way, you might want to also consider taking the course, experiencing God in the small group, Patricia. It's a marvelous course, and um, it will help you to fine tune your small group uh, presentations. Yes. I don't know about this time, but maybe next time. <laughs> next, year, next year, next year, next year. Um, I, I, I've shared with some people in the, in the um, other other class. They're, they're um, once they get communion with God and understanding the Bible and introduction to the prophetic, then they're going to take the what they call the cake courses, easy as cake. Um, um, which are gifted to succeed and experiencing God in a small group. You can even take those two courses in the same semester because the, the workload is not that heavy. But I appreciate what you said, and thank you so much, Patricia. You're welcome. Thank you. Know you. That, you know that we're here for you. Yes, yeah, thanks. <laughs> God bless you. Praise God. Praise God. Megan writes in the chat window, I don't know about everyone else, but I've certainly had a total paradigm shift. I recommended this to my mom and auntie. Praise God. Megan puts a big word in there on us, paradigm, and um, a whole new model, whole whole way of thinking. Um, um, I just, uh, I think some of you may have received a, um, a gift copy of my book, a new paradigm for the church um and that that book um explains what the church is doing that we never thought the church would be doing or we had no idea that this is what the church ought to be doing um and and the new uh the new paradigm for the church let's see lets us see the church going outside of the brick and mortar walls and so thanks megan for that 
a new paradigm, uh, uh, a way of approaching people the Jesus way. Jesus didn't just hang out in buildings. He went where the people were, where the needs were. So thank you, Megan. God bless you. Anyone else want to share? Thank you. Thanks again, Megan. Okay. Well, that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm going to um, put this. This video will be online tonight. I'll send you a copy, and um, you can review the whole course by going to the um, my YouTube page, Leroy Carter, and review all of the courses that we've had, all of the classes that we've had in this course. Um, we're available, Jackie and I, if you need to get in touch with us and let's look forward to the next semester I'm, I'm looking for whatever course you take we're gonna have fun we're gonna have a great time and we're gonna uh, be blessed so may God bless you may God keep you father God in the name of Jesus I thank you for our students I commend them all to you Lord God as that you continue to bless them meet every need they have keep them healthy and strong help them to grow wise in the spirit of the Lord and uh, continue to fill them with your Holy Spirit. Bless Paul Begley and Heidi Begley and the entire school, and we praise you, and we love you, Father, and thank you. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. Amen, everybody. God bless you. God bless you.